This week in Nerf, we've got leaked blaster names, changes to Busby toys, and a full auto kit. I'm Jangular, and this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Diving right on in, a Hail Kelly on Reddit, otherwise known as Kelly Industries, found recently a bunch of unreleased Nerf blaster names. He posted this list up on Discord and on Reddit, and there is a lot to sift through. A lot of things that are out already, uh, things that we know about or may already know the names of, but there's a fair amount of things that we don't know exactly what they are. We have a lot of speculation, and I will go through a few of those really quick. I'm not going to put images up because... Uh, a lot of these pertain, we think, to the Instagram video that was leaked a while back, and since some videos were taken down with that, just to be safe, I'm always going to err on the side of caution when posting those things. So, first off, we have the Rival Hades, which is uh, looked at as a 60-round Springer Blaster. It's the XVI I-6000 or whatnot, which translates into 60 rounds, we assume, and uh, we're thinking it's the Springer again in that Instagram video. I'll have a link to that Instagram video down below, actually, so you can all watch it and see what we're talking about uh, when we're referencing things here. But this was something that was seen, we think, in the background of that video, and this may be one of the rival Springers that looked like a larger uh, pump action kind of thing, I believe. But people are suspecting it may just be a larger Artemis, somewhat along the lines of Out of Darts' Artemax. Uh, so that's something interesting and unique. If it is, it may just make the Artemis obsolete, which would be interesting so soon after the Artemis was released. But we'll see. Uh, next up is the rival Prometheus, and this has the nomenclature for 200 rounds, which is monstrous, which leads everyone pretty much unanimously to to think that this is the big blaster that is being fired in that Instagram video as it it looks monstrous uh, it looks monstrous it has a huge hopper on it which looks like it could feasibly hold 200 rounds so this makes sense and it seems to line up and that's it's kind of a neat name for uh for something that big prometheus has a you know big sound to it so I dig it that works for me the one that I'm personally most interested in is the Infinus or Infinus Infinus and Infinus regardless the assumption is going that this is the rapid strike esque elite blaster in the background of the video that looks bigger has a drum coming out of the bottom of it but looks just like a full-on primary like a large size blaster that uh, we don't know, we're assuming full auto, we don't know whether it's going to be pusher powered or conveyor belt powered. Fingers crossed for a pusher mechanism because those are much better when modded in terms of response time and things like that. And that, that to me is more interesting. Now, it may be better in terms of cost effectiveness for Hasbro to be doing... Um, to be doing conveyor belt systems. There may be just less cost associated to it and that may be better for them. Hopefully that's not the case because for us in the hobby, it's better with the pusher mechanisms, I personally believe. But regardless, I think it looks cool and I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be what we're looking for. But uh, I don't wanna go into all of these. Those are the three big ones really there's some names I go through a few there's some names that we don't know what they are the delta trooper the zombie strike wrath bolt the mega thunderhawk uh and and more so there's a lot to kind of go through and digest so i'll have the link of course to the reddit post and to the page with all of the names uh and no images or l less than the number of images we would like uh down below so check it out you know, share your thoughts on this down below. What you think about the more interesting ones? What are you looking forward to the most? What do you hope they are? Uh, I'm very curious to get everyone's input on that. Next up, we have a uh, something new from Atch Attachments. Now, this is a full auto Raven kit. Now, full auto Ravens aren't new, or this kit isn't the first of its kind, but it is worth talking about. Uh, he went with the goal of no exterior shell cutting to fit anything and, and, and minimal internal shell cutting, cutting to get all the pieces in there. 
Um, it also has cycle control, which is nice. Uh, you know I like options. I like people being able to pick and choose who they want to buy from. Uh, maybe there's some variances in the way things fit or the way the pieces are made that may be favorable to some people over other available kits. So that to me is always interesting because I like competition. I like what it breeds. So that is really cool. I think the Raven, um, the Raven just has its, its, its niche audience, the people that love that bullpup, that compact blaster. And for those that do and maybe don't want to try and create their own, full auto kit this is great to have as an option um it is gonna be around 32 dollars us at least when i checked uh that listing actually did just go up a couple days ago a day ago as of this film a couple days ago as of this video going up i believe but definitely go check that out if you are in the market for one of those the link will be below as with everything else now something that just popped up that i thought was very interesting uh, Abquintic, I hope I'm saying that correctly, on Reddit posted up that they noticed that on the Busby or the Alex Brands website, which in 2015, I believe, acquired Busby Toys, they no longer list Busby Toys on their website. And if you try to go to any Busby Toys listing on the Alex Brands website, uh, you get nothing. Uh, the image that I have up right now is what shows up. And that was very interesting. Uh, is it possible that Busby is no longer owned by Alex Brands? That seems to be the case as it's been followed up by Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, the Busby Toys website has been updated to the pre-Alex Brands website, which is, I believe, just busbytoys.com. And that, to me, says something has changed. I think it's fairly obvious something has changed. What it is, I don't know yet. What it means for the future of Busby, I believe, is the more concerning thing to ask. What does it mean in terms of what they're going to be producing? This is the company that recently has brought us blasters that people have loved, such as the Sentinel the and the XBZ, uh, I believe, are probably the two most popular ones in the last couple years, uh, last three it's been like two or three years, if I believe, if I remember correctly. But regardless, I'm curious to see what this means for the company as a whole and what their direction will be in terms of designing blasters moving forward. If anything will change or if it will just be, you know, the status quo with what they're doing and they're just no longer under the Alex Brand's name. Uh, I'm, I'm interested. Hopefully they continue to produce uh, blasters that people enjoy using because they have made a name for themselves as trying to push quality and up their up their quality and do better and be more of a competitor with Hasbro and the Nerf brand, which is great because, like I said, competition breeds great things in terms of development and uh, what the consumer gets. So let me know your thoughts on that one. Uh, one more thing today, the OFP Morpheus guides have shipped. Now these we talked about a couple times on the show here. These are guides for a new OFP cage that will allow you to have essentially a brass guide and barrel without the actual work of, you know, fitting the brass guide and cutting everything and make sure it's all right. These will fit in perfectly with any crush ratio of the new OFP cages that are meant for the Morpheus system. And that is super cool to me. Now, uh, the Morpheus guides should be sipping, shipping out to resellers today when this video go, gets posted. So hopefully within the next week or so, we should start seeing these be available. I know I'm excited to try one out. I'm going to be picking one up when I can and definitely will let you all know what I think. But I love anything that increases precision or accuracy, uh, even if it is at the cost of some FPS. But we're always experimenting in the hobby and always trying to push things a little bit further and this is one of those things and I super respect that and uh, am looking forward to trying it out. So let me know what you guys are thinking about this one as well. Now that brings us to our model of the week which comes to us from Low Rhine Mechanical Artworks and this is the Nem Turion. Now this is an integration of a Centurion and a Nemesis. It's, it's pretty straightforward in terms of what you're getting but I just love the way it looks. Like I saw this pop up and I just, I don't know, it just looks like the Centurion back belongs on that Nemesis. And I love that. It looks so like, uh, it just, it looks right when I look at it. 
And you know, they, they did a, a very dark aesthetic with, I believe looks like a, just like black and red kind of look. And that's cool. You know, it may not be my particular style, but I dig it, I respect it. It's, it's definitely apparent they put some work and time into this as well. I like that they put the voltmeter and, and the nice kind of LED display on the side of it as well. It, it just gives a nice kind of way to break up all of the darkness in it. But it looks, from what I've seen, it looks clean. It looks nice. And I'm going to have a link to that. So go check it out. Hopefully there'll be more pictures up on their Instagram. And you can see maybe the process and everything that went into it. Because it, like I said, well, it looks straightforward. It just looks right to me. It looks nice. And, you know, I, I wanted to share that with all of you because I think it looks cool. And I look forward to seeing what they do in the future as well. This week, while we're on the topic of integrations and things like that, our video of the week comes to us from one of the, uh, one of my favorite modders. That's Mr. Heath Pants. We talked about his ASG shotgun mod a while back on the show and he has recently decided he's going to be doing, a, to be doing a series of videos on how to do your own. It's going to be a bunch of mod guide videos on every aspect of the ASG mod and that is so cool to me. I got so excited when I saw the first one pop up, I'm not going to lie. Instantly I was like, yes, that is it. That is our video of the week. I know we're like a week out, but that's the video of the week. It is done. It's done because I love this blaster. I love what he did with it. And I'm so excited that he's sharing the process and the way he's doing it with everyone. There's two episodes out as of this filming. Uh, the first one is a general overview of what the guide will be accomplishing and all that goes into it and everything. And the second one is the magazine tube for the shells themselves. And I'm already like, I'm already super into it. I'm loving it. I am looking forward to more. Uh, so I definitely wanted to share that with all of you because it's super cool and uh, I, I want I want to really really push those creative things that people do and this is one of them so if you haven't seen it or you didn't know that it was out and you love that ASG mod like I do definitely go check that out that video is gonna be right over here because we are at the end of the episode now so let me know what you thought about everything today Busby Busby toys changing brands potentially all the new leaked nerf names um, the new products, the mods, and, and the video. Let me know. I love hearing from all of you. And if you do the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.